you. Yeah, all right, so here's my issue. Um, I'm gonna probably cut this a little higher so that it's more like up here. Um, but like I said, here's my issue. I've got a uh, compound curve again. So not only do I take a piece of sheet metal and bend it this way, but I've also got to bend it this way. <clears throat> and I'm no skilled metal former or anything else. So I've watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos and gotten ideas. Uh, from the last time that I touched this car to now, it's been about a week, I think. Um, and I'm ready to move on. I need to finish this off so I can devote my time to uh, to other stuff. Um, I discovered a whole bunch of different and better ways to do that, so oh well. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do is take a, uh, a piece of metal with this length, starting from here, going down, and then curving in. And that's, what, one, two, three, about four inches, maybe three inches. I'm going to eyeball this, <clears throat> and then I'll trim this as I need to to fit the, uh, the thing I'm making. I don't know if you can tell, and that's my dress shirt. I just got home from work. This here is awfully thin. So I don't know if this, uh, let's see if this shows it very well. Um, I thought I had a light on this. Yeah, there we go. All right, so I do have a light. <clears throat> As you can see here, there is still some metal deformation. And right there, that, that right there, if I go up by another three inches or two inches, maybe even, even one inch, uh, I'll get to better metal. So this real thin stuff, maybe an expert could uh, could weld on it better. I sure as heck can't. Um, my welds turn up ugly and then I get even uglier and it gets ugliest and on and on. So um, this, I'm gonna probably cut that out <clears throat> or drill it out, fill it with seam sealer maybe, or to see if I can weld it up and build it up and build it up. It's a longer process, but it's easier than cutting and welding a new piece. Well, I'll see how that goes. Um, still a little bit of white there, a white red, I mean. So I need to put another coat or two of, uh, of stuff, of primer. Looks like I've got, yeah, i got some work in there to do as well. Um, but like I say, I'm going to start with a piece of, uh, of metal about four inches wide or so, and I'm going to start, start bending it. I'm going to start forming it. I'm going to do this the easy way, which means... <laughs> Lots of cuts and some welds, so we'll see how that works out. Here we are from the other side. Um, I'm going to. What the hell is that? Huh. Maybe I heated up too much, I don't know. Um, well, that's likely, yeah, because now this area here is soft. You can see a little pinhole area that I showed you before, and this is likely to heat it up when I was grinding away, so. <clears throat> I'm looking at a roughly, what is that, four, go a little bit higher, four centimeter bend that way. Yes, I know I'm an American, but you know. And from this point in, I'm looking at another two. So four by two centimeters. I realize this is not exact. I don't need it to be right now because um, I can bend that and shape that. Whoops, bend that and shape that. Did I get that? I tend to not look at my screen as I uh, as I uh, film, but uh, so ten by four centimeter by two, four up and then two in. I sure as hell don't have an English wheel. I don't have uh, any kind of a metal forming device except for my uh, that thing. What do you call it? Yeah, and uh, a hammer and my own brain. So I'm gonna have to do some improvisation. And I'm going to do that. Not, well, I don't know why I'm pausing because I've already thought this through. Um, I'm going to measure out four centimeters here. So that's roughly where, where that line is. Sorry, four centimeters here. I'll probably go halfway just to make it nice and easy in case I need to, uh, you know, trim back some stuff. Yeah, so my camera's not uh, focusing. Um, I'm going to, from that point here, I'll draw an, uh, a line through. And I'll cut a series of of marks of you know, score areas, like I did before with my uh, with 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 my frame <clears throat> when I was doing some repairs for the the uh, seat reels. And uh, I'll make it uh, bendable that way, formable. So I'll show that to you in a sec. Okay, here we are on my vise. 
And again, all I'm going to do is just do a bunch of marks vertically, maybe four or five or six, so that I've got what looks like, I don't know, confetti paper or, you know, one of those things on the street corner where you say, uh, you know, free to a good home, my freaking cat that just peed the uh, the bathroom again, um, <clears throat> call group guy, one of those kinds of flyer slip things, and you'll sit here in a sec. Fucking cat. So now what I'm going to do is form this, this, uh, this top portion, into a curve that fits in there. And what I've got here, oops, what I've got here is roughly a saucer-shaped piece of lead. Uh, I've got a buddy at work that, uh, <laughs> uh, who has a husband that collects the, uh, the wire wheel, I'm sorry, wire wheel, the, the wheel weights um, off of all the tires and all the wheels he's had done over the years. And um, he reforms the lead into his wife's uh, muffin cups. And then when he needs it, he, he, he knocks off a chunk and makes lead fishing lines or weights or lures or whatever the hell. I'm not a fisherman, so uh, something like that. <clears throat> so I need to use this shape and roughly this, this uh, angle there, too. It works out nicely on this piece of metal. Um, I'm not sure I want to do that. I could just roll it, I suppose, but I may pro I just may use a hammer. Just kind of like to use a hammer. And, um, Okay, now that's done. Um, got a basic curve here. That took me all of three seconds. And I'm using the other side, um, over here, the good side, as a guide. And there she blows. Now you can see that it's a little bit too long. I'm going to trim that down once I've got that shape up, as I need to. Um, and then, here, actually, You know, I was going to do it some other way, but what might be easiest if... Let me go to the other side. So there it is. Not as nice, but... Nicely formed anyway. So I could hammer this slightly onto the metal here and or... and or trim it so it's good here and then just more or less fold in those bits and then uh, weld them together where I need them to cut off the bits I don't need hammer shape um, pound heat to get the basic of what I need I may just do that all right what do we say four centimeters I may need to yeah, I'm gonna trim this sucker down now I think I've got five or even six here, so let's see. God damn thing. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Oh, yeah. So, trim off a, a centimeter for my Canadian brethren, Europeans, and uh, start forming from there. This is going to be actually kind of easy. Easier than I thought. It's going to be pretty ghetto. Not ghetto, but... Um, you know, again, I see guys with the stretchers and uh, shrinkers and all kinds of other ways of doing it. But, you know, once this is done, this is probably more uh, more labor intensive than other methods. But it's going to work out nicely, I think. Uh, at least for a guy like me that doesn't have all the specialized equipment and English wheels and sh stuff like that. So there we go. And as you would, uh, as you freaking know it, I just spent 10 minutes looking for my stupid Lowe's bucket, which was under there with my, uh, my space heater, so... I wanted to sit on this thing so I could do some work again over here. Light out of the way. Do some work here because this is the area that we're uh, redoing. I'm sorry. Whoops. This is the area that we are redoing. Good thing I didn't do that one. Um, and I have, as you can see, uh, taken that thing down. Maybe I should take it down just a little bit more. Yeah. Another centimeter-ish. Uh, I don't really care a whole heck of a lot if I dork up this uh, this part of the uh, primer job. Because the other side, uh, the, I mean, I can just redo it. Scrape off the old stuff and put on new stuff if I need to. But again, this is the air that I'm mirroring, so here's what it'll look like. Now my intention 
is, I'm going to trim that down, but my intention is just to fold these in at the right areas. Maybe pound a little bit so that they're nice and uh, nice and good to go. And then weld them. At least weld them together in bits and pieces. Cut off, I think. I don't know. I'm thinking out loud here. Um, I'm kind of winging it too. Well, fuck, gosh. Anyway, yeah, I like that. Uh, bend in those tines and see what I can do there. At least get that shape I need. Literally like, like that, I think. Yeah, so I'm gonna hit pause. I'm not gonna be able to hold my phone and do this at the same time, so you'll see the after effect. And that's how it looks. Um, <clears throat> this is the effect that I actually wanted, because <laughs> that's what I got, so that's what I wanted, right? Um, I'm gonna hold that, and I'll show you how it looks in here. Okay, so I've got the shape I need. Oops, sorry. I've got the shape I need. I've got the bend I need. And I've got the gentle curve that I'm looking for. I use the other side as the, uh, as the template. And so what I'll do next, because it's gonna be, you know, in this, this dimension, too thick. I've got, what, four layers there. Um, <clears throat> I can either spray paint this on the inside, or the outside, one of the two, and let it dry for a few minutes. I don't wanna do that because I'm impatient. Or, I will mark everywhere that needs to get cut. And what I'll do after that, I'll unbend this, then I'll trim it. And you can see some of this stuff I didn't need to cut. That's okay, I'll just weld that in. And some areas here that Oops, some areas here that do need to be cut. So everything from this, actually, I'm gonna color and everything that is to be left. That's probably safer. Kind of cut off the wrong freaking thing. I've done that before. And then <clears throat> once I have trimmed, I will weld this stuff together, and then I'll really start shaping it both this curve and even the top portion here. So, and again, <clears throat> probably not the best way to do this. Probably not the avowed and true method without a English or with an English wheel, blah, blah, blah. But um, I don't have any of that stuff, so I've got to do what i got to do. And what I'm doing is taking time. You know, my, uh, my asset is time. My asset is not uh, machinery and, and things. So let's see. I'm going to unbend this a little bit. I hate to, no, screw it. Yeah, I hate to do it, but... Wait a sec. There we have it unbent, and you can see the areas that I'm going to shave off. There we go. And I'll do that here now, and show you how it looks after I am done. That's done. Um using my uh, my angle grinder. <laughs> it looks like my brother's teeth. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go and re-bend that back and you'll see the basic curve that I've got. I'll then just hold it nice and steady on my uh, my workbench. Where's my piece of, there it is. Piece of copper. And then I'll weld it all together once it's flattened out on this thing. And you'll see, hopefully, uh, something pretty gosh darn cool. And there we go. So I've got the one uniform thickness down. Um, I'm going to start welding this. Where is the best way to... I had thought about just holding it there and going zip, zip, zip. That might do it, but what I don't want to... Well, I could do that. So what I don't want to do is have to fiddle with the goddamn thing. And yeah, you do a little bit more straightening, but I can do that later. Um, this 
inner radius is going to be about, let me get my pen, it's going to be about like this. Once I have this welded up and nice and solid, I can take it back to that area, trace it out, and cut out what I actually don't need. Again, bit by bit, step by step by step. Um, and the first rounds of my welds are done. I'm going to keep on marching up to close out these gaps and make it strong. Um, getting better at my welds, though, I'll tell you that. Uh, not too, whoops, not too bad here either. Uh, it looks like a little bit of a of an under gap, but there's not. Um, like I say, I'll fill in all of these. I've got my welder set at a, a speed of three and the lowest voltage setting I've got. And I'm using very, very soft wire, very thin wire as well. Uh, so it melts at the perfect point. Let me redo that one. And once all of this is finished, I'm going to grind it all down, make it look pretty, and then see where I am with my uh, my radius, my radii. And there we are after the first uh, weld and grind. Um, you can tell I didn't weld on this side, so I've got some good penetration here. So I get a close up. Yeah, I got some good penetration here. Uh, blew through right there, right in the center of the screen, but not doing too badly. So I think what I'll do is turn this over. Maybe, yeah, screw it. It's easier to do on the other side. I'll just smooth this stuff out as I. Uh, as I go from the other side, so less to do up here. Not that bad, I'm not too displeased. Yeah, and there it is. Um, <laughs> it's not the greatest done. <laughs> I've ever done. Uh, full of holes. Uh, you can see where I blasted through and my pitiful attempts at meaningful welding or, or not. <laughs> so, <laughs> fuck it. I'm fixing this with fiberglass. <laughs> I know, the parish are not gonna have fun with this, and shame on me for even thinking it, but I don't give a shit, it's my car, not yours. And I'm gonna use this as a back plate, so <laughs> I've done this before. Um, I'm gonna more or less see how it's, maybe I could use it, but you know, the thing is, this metal is so, maybe I could use it. I don't know, this metal is so thin that it's, I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> it's so thin that it's gonna unform, and I've got to fill it in anyway. So I'll cut it to where I need it, roughly there, kind of, and then I'm gonna fasten it. Fasten. I'm gonna make sure it doesn't move. Uh, cover that in. I'm gonna think here. Cover that in with some plastic that I've got, some very, very thin stuff, and make a form. And um, make it out of uh, fiberglass. Another option I've got <clears throat> is to just say, screw that. Put that plastic in this corner and um, form it in that way. In fact, I may just do that. Yeah. It's probably easier if I do. So, I'm gonna pause. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, I figured actually I've had a pretty good shot I thought at uh, taking what I had trimming it down because I did make it too long and too wide and too high and etc etc but you can see that and there's like the piece and so I'm gonna just say screw it I am in fact I could still probably use this as a uh, actually I could probably use this as a temp wall well, screw it god damn it no bad idea so, there we have it. <clears throat> I've got this really, really thin plastic. I bought a stove a while back, and then it was that thing. That rule of, you know, wrap it up so it doesn't scratch the whatever it is. So I kept it, and uh, it's very, very thin. I'm going to um, make a, a big piece like out to here, all the way up, and let it cure overnight. I'm going to form it to that, because I know that that's a good side. That's a good side, and there's my patch. And yes, I know, I'm sure there's going to be somebody who bitches or grouses or complains or pukes that it's not true MG original, but you can see how my welding skills have turned out and done me great justice, so I'm going to do the next best thing. So, there we go. Well, I just deleted an entire segment of what I was doing. <laughs> I 
I had planned on using this really thin plastic that I've got, which is this. Uh, I call it stove saran wrap, <laughs> which is that. I bought a stove. Oil. <laughs> God damn. Oh God, how I haven't killed myself yet? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Anyway, <laughs> that's a roll of uh, of the stuff you put around appliances or other stuff, so it doesn't get scratched up in transit, right? <laughs> and there it is. I put it in the corner, thinking I could form this stuff to it. Why I thought this, I don't know. <laughs> but, <laughs> I have instead, <laughs> I, you can see I did, you know, I, I tried it. And this stuff started rock hard. That was about four minutes ago. Oh, wow. And um, it, it kept on coming off of the, uh, the corner here. I've used this before, this, this kind of a method, but with matte and the resin. And with the resin, it's much easier because it's, you know, not as thick and as goopy as this stuff. So I knew I had just a few minutes of pot life in this batch, so I stuck it here. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to do this or just cut this piece out and replace it with metal, but, you know, it's good metal from the underneath. There's a spot that I missed. Right there in the center. And I'll get that. I'll re get that. So, what I'm going to do instead, what I did instead, is take duct tape. And, oh God, I'm so horrified I'm doing this, but there you go. So, I've put this in a form. Okay, I'm not going to use this as what I'm going to do once I get this in there. And once it is fiberglassed in and hardens overnight, I'm going to take it out, form it. Well, shape it to that area there and see what I can do about keeping it there. Or I might just leave it as is, you know, not take it out, not take it out of this area here once I, uh, you know, once it hardens and uh, form it from the other side that way so it looks natural. This stuff, when it's done, is stronger in hell. Um, <laughs> It's not been my night, I'll tell you what. I had a good day at work. Came home to a peeing cat, but I'm you know, not grouse about that. I need to push this in just a little bit. Make sure that curve is good. My hands are dirty enough where I don't have to work. There you go. Oh, that's gonna look good. British Linley would be so proud of me. Or for, yeah, British Leland, British work, I don't know, something like that. And here we go. Let's give this a shot. Got another batch, got another paintbrush, and normally what you should do is get uh, fiber, whoops, fiberglass resin, a, a, a good batch of it, weekly put together so it doesn't cure quickly, and some matte. And I'm going to see how this stuff works. The mat you impregnate with the uh, the uh, fiberglass, and you keep punching the stuff in. You do it slowly and deliberately, <clears throat> and what you get is a very thin, nicely done form of the thing you're trying to mirror. That shape. This tiger hair stuff, like I say, look at this. It's got fiberglass. Hair is already impregnated into it, so it's much easier, apparently. And having used this stuff on a couple of the weld seams I've done on this car, god damn, is it ever freaking strong! Took a goddamn grinder to uh, my angle grinder to damn well uh, grind off the uh, the bits and pieces. So I'm not too awfully worried about the strength of this. I am more concerned, actually, with the appearance. You can see it's lumpy. If you ever used fiberglass before, a little little piece in there I can get. If you ever used fiberglass before, um, I think it's a dream to work with. I really like working fiberglass. Whoops. I really like working fiberglass because it's so much easier in my book and obvious <laughs> skill level than working with metal. So. It is easier for me to use this stuff. I was preaching all this crap about to 
Take your time. Go slow. Yeah. And then when you suck at metal work, it makes its way onto the internet. <laughs> and everyone with an MG goes, oh my god, I can't believe he's doing that. So, that's okay. I'm sure there's Barney approved methods and there's not. I'm not sure Barney would approve of this, but, you know. What I ought to do, what I really need to do, if I'm going to use this to cover up all that pitting, I really do need to go to the other side and take off all that paint and just primer and do it from the other side as well so that I've got upper and lower uh, paint. There we go. This doesn't look too bad. And then again. All right, so what I'll probably do is let this harden, not harden, but cure up a little bit. You know, one of the nice things I like about fiberglass is it's so easy to use. Obviously, if you paint the stuff on, for God's sakes, that I need to get out. That's with the drain hole. But it goes on so dang easily, and then it's just a matter of grinding it down. It grinds so much easier than metal, and if you do it right, it's just as strong. I should have been a bolt builder. I love this smell. Yeah, okay, it's getting kind of firm now. <clears throat> and... Yeah, that's getting firm. I will, uh... Let that go. I mix too much of this, I always do. Yeah, it's getting firm. Damn, I need to be careful what I do, what I mix. Yeah, well, let's put some more down here, and grind off. And there too, I suppose. Again, I'm not putting this here for any kind of a structural strength. I'm doing it to uh, fill in some pitting. Uh, some rust, see, uh, rust pitting there. That, those little bits there will actually um, fill in with high build primer. And this stuff, I mean, I hate to waste this fiberglass mat, so I'll just, oops, yeah, I have a habit of not watching my screen while I'm filming. Again, I'm not putting this here for structural strength. I'm not putting it here to fill any major holes made too much of a batch there and so I'm going to use it just to fill in the pitting they'll grind down very nicely how's that look? that's not too bad ugly as sin but I'm going to say piss but oh man my back is killing me I've been standing all day Let's see. No, I'm not gonna use it. Just smooth it out as best I can. Yeah, so that first layer is good. Tamp it down a little bit into those holes, those, those pinhole rust holes. Again, I'm fully aware that this is not the approved method for concourse <clears throat> perfection kinds of restorations, but this is going to be a driver car, a very nice driver car. 
so I'm not too awfully concerned about someone's opinion or whatnot. And honestly, once this stuff, excuse me, once this, oh wow, God dang. Yeah, boy, it cures fast. See, this is in the space of about five minutes, it's cured. So, well, it's gotten heavier anyway. I'm gonna leave this for the night. This this brush is a one one off use, so I couldn't give a shit about darn about that. And the pad, I might as well just leave it as is. I'll just tear off that one piece of paper and use the next one. In front of the underside, you won't notice it. So. And there's a little bit of stuff that's come through. And let's see, where's it? There it is. Interesting. So that's what happens to metal when you get it too hot. Not metal, but the the paint. The paint literally bakes off. These are areas that uh, I left the uh, the grinder on for too long, and it cooked the paint off. So I'm gonna have to redo this this piece anyway. That's easy, just grind it down to bare metal. You see why it's important. It literally flakes off, whereas the primer does not. Stuff that's been baked off, yeah. These would be rust areas if I don't take care of it. And, yeah, these are already nice and hard. So, there you have it. In fact, See these these dark well no those aren't that's where my uh, my two by four was when I was doing the work I missed that I'll be darned if I got all that stuff so yeah I don't want to fuck with it too much huh whoops battery power low god dang it all right anyway there it is. Once this cures, I'll take this stuff off. I'll form the backside. I'll probably put more stuff on the backside so it's got a stiffer, uh, stiffer portion back there. And uh, you can see, got a little bit of a dimple here. That'll be easy to fix. Again, I'll just put another layer there and form it around so it can't be. So it's, so it's not so obvious. I don't care if it's seen or not because it can be covered by the dang uh, gas tank. But oh, let's see how the rest of it looks. Tacky, but not a little bit there. Yeah. So, again, this is best left to cure overnight. If that sticks in there and it's done and finished, it's done and finished. I'm not going to worry about it. I just need to uh, form it up so it looks nice. And that's a grinder's worth of, uh, of an evening. So, actually, i got plans tomorrow. Today's Monday. i got plans Tuesday. i got plans Wednesday. What am I doing Thursday? Doing something Thursday. Probably have to wait another goddamn week to get back to this, but yeah, there it is. So, and that's it.